If you're new to IKEAS, you might be struggling with exposing your application via Ingress. There might be a step that you're missing, so let's take a look at that. The demo application we will be deploying to our cluster and exposing via Ingress looks like this. It's exposed via Ingress, it has a frontend and an API and a database. Quite simple. To get this done, we're going to start with setting up a new cluster. We're going to install an Nginx Ingress controller, and if you're coming from Minikube, this might be the step that you've been missing. We're going to verify the controller works. We're going to adjust our deployments and deploy our application to the EKS cluster and verify everything works. In a previous video, I demonstrated how to set up an EKS cluster. I have a repository that can help out with that, so please take a look at the link in the video description. You just clone the repository, then you follow these steps. You select our user, mine is copycop. You create a stack. You log into the AWS console, navigate to CloudFormation, and wait until our VPC is ready. Next, you create the EKS stack, and wait until that's ready. Let's select our cluster and verify we can get the nodes. Looks good. This awesome documentation shows us how to set up an Nginx controller, but I mean the simplicity of it is like we can either use Helm if you're familiar with that, or if you're not familiar with that, we can set it up with kubectl. Let's install the controller with Helm. So we copy this to our terminal. Now it's installed, let's verify it's installed. So if you scroll down here, online testing, copy this, run it here. This looks good, we have a controller. If you navigate to EC2 and load balancers, we can see there's a new load balancer here, and this is our ingress controller. We need to remember to delete this one manually. I've cloned the application, and if I look at the Kubernetes files, I can see the services are exposed with a load balancer. If I deploy this to my cluster, a load balancer will be created for all of my services. Since this is just a hobby project, I only need one node for each of these services and I don't really need a load balancer. So I can change this to node port here for the API, for the front end, and for Mongo Express. So this way we reduce costs. I have a script here that will deploy everything. So let's deploy that. Let's look at our pods. Everything is now running. Let's see if we can access our application via the load balancer. So here we have the load balancer. And here we have the DNS for it. We have to write HTTP here. And then this path. Okay, something is here. So let's see if we can create data. Perfect, this is working. Please remember to delete the resources that you created in this order. So first the EKS stack, then the VPC, and then the load balancer. That's it. I hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe and see you in the next video.